My name is Paul Bates, I'm director of the Capit Institute and we're delighted to welcome Axel Research and Cathy Cashman here today to the M Shed in Bristol to uh, launch her Axel Research Chair and also to um, discuss the, the topic of volcanoes in society. The focus of today is to try to pull together um, different groups of people who are interested in not just how volcanoes work, which is my field, but also the effect that volcanoes have on people and societies. The AXA Research Fund is part of the AXA brand and um, AXA, the global insurance company, first relates to knowledge and science because we have experts and to protect our customers. We uh, obviously use uh, scientific results and statistics and this type of stuff. But this is only part of what people need to be uh, protected from uh, well, any event, threat, risk that may arise. The big problem is that volcanoes are intrinsically unpredictable. Um, we can forecast likely patterns of behaviour, but we can't ever say in precise detail uh, this volcano will erupt in 10 days' time with this intensity or magnitude and produce these sort of impacts. And there's probably about 550 active volcanoes around the world and about 50 of them erupt every year. And the, there's um, several hundred million people who live close enough to active volcanoes that they're, they're at least inconvenienced and sometimes their lives are threatened when those volcanoes erupt. Uh, as we saw a couple of years ago, volcanoes in Iceland can impact and shut down um, airspace over Europe. Uh, volcanoes also affect human livelihood, uh, they affect agriculture, and although in any one location there are only, there's only a volcanic eruption once every hundred, several hundred years around the world, there are always volcanoes erupting, and as societies grow and become more complex, there are always uh, various societies at risk of disruption from volcanic eruptions. Actually, these 50 vol or so volcanoes that erupt every year are actually forming a natural pollution. They put little tiny particles of volcanic dust and what are called aerosols, little droplets of, of liquid, into the atmosphere all the time. And this actually cuts down the solar radiation and uh, absorbs radiation from the sun. So they're an important part of understanding the Earth's climate. Now, sometimes, when there's a really big eruption, an awful lot of this volcanic natural pollution goes into the atmosphere, and it actually creates really very strong changes in climate over perhaps the next couple of years or so. Just to give you one example, in 1815 there was a massive eruption of the volcano called Tambora in Indonesia, and that caused frosts in the summer in New England in the United States. AXA funding this in a sort of very wide way uh, will allow us to work with social scientists and in more detail with economists uh, because of potential impacts on uh, commerce, on industry, aviation, all of which we saw last year and the year before with the Thailand floods and the Eiffel eruption that interrupted aviation in Europe. Um, the scientists have one part of the picture, uh, it's a jigsaw and it, the bits don't fit together very well. So the more work we can do on this uh, jointly, uh, the better we'll get a, an image that we can use for decision making.